Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my friends all across the globe today, and welcome back to Hope Harbor Zoo. Hope you all are having a wonderful day so far as we begin. Uh, some new expansions to the island. So, recently, you guys can probably tell that I've been doing a lot of South American expansions. Hopefully, the next episode of this series, when it comes out, I'm not really sure when, uh, it'll kind of cover, like, you know, the big tropical house that we've been doing for South America. Really excited to show you guys all that. But first and foremost, I really wanted to get this one out. Uh, so today, we are going over a couple new animals that we're bringing back in here. The big one, predominantly, is our uh, North American aviary and the start of Raptor Ridge. So you guys may remember from the end of Hope Island Zoo that we did have Raptor Ridge over there. It was kind of like our area where we kept like, you know, a bunch of our uh, big flying raptors. So like our vultures, we used to keep our owls over there. This one is kind of going to be the same. Uh, obviously right now we only have in there our Eurasian Eagle Owls and our Spectacled Owls, but eventually we're just going to throw a bunch more in there. But what we're working on right now is the actual waterfowl aviary. Essentially what I wanted to do for this entire building to start off with was kind of create a little bit of a palette, a little bit of a recurring theme. So I kind of make one section of this build and then you can tell right after I get everything exactly how I want it, I start to repeat it after over and over and over again. I'm not really sure what's happening here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, wow, that's awesome. Wow, I totally just blanked out right there, along with the video. But you know what? It's totally fine. You guys probably haven't clicked off already. Um, but moving on throughout here... I'm sorry, guys, I'm like wicked tired. <laughs> oh, man, I'm very excited to see what's happening with Planet Zoo, though. Because today, uh, they did just announce that, hopefully today, when this video comes out, there should be a live stream. So hopefully we could actually cover that tomorrow as well. We can kind of speculate what's going to happen because we are kind of due for a little bit more of information as to, as to the next DLC uh, and as to what may be in store for all of us. So that's going to be wicked awesome to see. Uh, hopefully I'll see so many of you guys there. Always give the support to Frontier because it really does show kind of like, you know, engagement in the community and just how much, you know, of a player base that they still have over there uh, because it really is so important to show that Planet Zoo players were dedicated and we're excited to see what they have in the pipeline. So working over here, I was trying to come up with a double door kind of like a uh, airlock system because obviously the guests can walk in here and the ducks and waterfowl will be kind of free roaming, they can free fly, so I want to make sure that they're not able to escape, so making sure that we're kind of taking that into account is extremely important. So I really want to make a nice kind of clean airlock system over here and if in, in case if you guys don't know what that is. You know, whenever you walk into like an aviary or a walkthrough exhibit, there oftentimes is a second set of doors that you need to go through. That's exactly what an airlock is. It's just to make sure the animals don't escape. And even if they do get in there, you just open the door back up, then they should go back out through the other side. So we're essentially working with all that. Oh my God, my lips are so chapped right now. Oh my God, it hurts. <laughs> but we're essentially working with all of that and making sure that everything looks nice, everything flows good. We're giving a little bit more structure down below with the aviary. So we're kind of making that all filled up over there with a whole bunch of like iron girders and stuff. And we're also working with the fence system currently in the game as well, just to have it feel a little bit more uh, fenced in because obviously we want to keep all of our animals contained. Uh, making our way throughout here as well and just making it all into one habitat as well as connecting that up to the rest of the pathway over there. I do apologize. I do a bunch of work off the camera uh, because I didn't want you guys to sit through like a whole bunch of like um, curbing and stuff like that. So I hope you guys don't mind if I didn't include any of that. Uh, but making our way throughout here and actually working on our interior of the aviary. I really wanted one big waterfowl pond right in the center because obviously we would have them all be swimming throughout here. And I really love the style of this aviary, having it be open on both sides. I was very inspired by um, 
I don't even know what zoo it was, but it, they had a beautiful waterfowl aviary with like a whole bunch of tiny trails going through it. Unfortunately, free build was not working at the time that I made this video, so it's a little sad that I wasn't able to actually achieve, you know, the kind of goal in mind what I wanted to get out of it, but that's totally fine because, you know what, I'm pretty happy with the aviary nonetheless. Maybe we could kind of copy the style to another section in the zoo. Maybe it could be for... I don't know, say it's for the African aviary. I'm planning on that. Currently, I only have the Egyptian goose and the blue winged goose in there, but hopefully later down the line, we can kind of figure something out for them. But making our way throughout here and adding these fences here as well, I made these all custom. I really do love the style of them too. They came out pretty good. Also, I apologize if you hear any background noise. My window is open, there are cars and motorcycles going around, and it's just all very hectic. But it's very cool outside, so I just want to take advantage of that while I can. Also, using a few blueprints, I believe these are from Just Goron, uh, just as a way to help kind of bring in a little bit more, um, you know, care and treatment of our animals into ZSU. Uh, so I do have all of these for our mallards. I have them all for the ducks and stuff. I have the larger one for like the swans and the geese. And we'll be working with that as we kind of get more species in here. Uh, also, another thing that I should probably talk about, ZSU International has finally launched. Um, so I'm very excited to see all of you guys start joining, especially if you haven't been part of ZSU in a long time. I really do suggest you check out International, at least peek your head in, and kind of see what's going on over there, because there are a lot of really awesome additions to it, especially with breeding is now officially happening uh, automatically. So hopefully in a few days we'll start to learn if some of our animals are indeed pregnant or whatnot, and then we should be able to see all of that as time makes it through. But yeah, that's about it. And we start to work on a little bit more foliage in here as well. It kind of was looking away for a little bit, but I'm very happy with the foliage in here. It came out extremely well. It's just really awesome working with aquatic plants again. I don't know. I really do miss it. Uh, I'm so excited for you guys to check out like the aquatic house. Uh, currently, the speed build is somewhat uh, corrupted. I gotta find a way how to fix that um, eventually. It usually happens sometimes with my external hard drive. Maybe I could get that fixed or something. But I'm also working on the exterior of the aviary as well, making sure it looks nice and making sure it feels a little bit more decorated because I do wanna kinda of frame this build pretty well. Uh, obviously, I want to develop a lot more along this area, throw a few more habitats in here wherever I can throw something in. Maybe I could get some more animals, who really knows. But what I really do want to focus on is helping the area feel a little bit more built up. And what better way to do that than with some more aviaries? Yes! So, originally, I really did want to get Raptor Ridge in its own area, but right here was just a perfect area for me to include it, and I think I may do some, like, you know, off offshoots of this pathway later down the line, so we can kind of work with that, and unfortunately, this does kind of crash around here, uh, so that part, unfortunately, does get taken out, but I hope that's okay with you guys, uh, but we eventually get back in there, nonetheless. But yeah, I really do love these aviaries. I wasn't able to capture like all the work I did in here, but you can see that I'm using Jaguar's aviary set in here. And I really did want to include as many realism parts as possible. So I do include some aviary doors, which the keepers would be able to access. And I do use some like, you know, some kind of wood pieces. I don't end up using these. I end up using another kind. I think you see them right here. Yeah, these are from the Jurassic Park prop pack. Released by Nicholas Lion Rider, a very wonderful creator in the community. Uh, and yeah, we kind of plop those down right there. And we kind of make our way throughout the rest of the habitat with it. Relatively simple aviaries. I feel like they're only 12 meters long, which does give them a lot of space. Um, enough space to fly around in as well. And we kind of have that be the center of it, that little uh, doorway right there. So what else we do? We kind of frame the building a little bit more. We try to make it feel like it's built in a little bit more. Um, just trying to figure out what I did over here because it's all kind of a blur. Um, and we're just trying to help the whole area feel kind of like, you know, a little bit more built up. Because keep in mind, we do have a lot of money. We did get some grants from like, you know, we got some grants from CSU. We got some grants from Gottfried's, Gottfriedsburg. We got some from... Uh, 
Cedar Lake, not Cedar Lake anymore, but Gateway Safari. But we're kind of making our way throughout all of that, and I did want to have some nice green over there. May change out the color of green, and I do apologize about the sirens. It's never ending over here. Uh, but yeah, we kind of work with that over here. Maybe I'll change the color out. Maybe I won't, but I'm not really sure. But either way, we're about to enter the b-roll hope you guys enjoyed the video i really do want to thank you guys for stopping by i know we're in a little bit more of a slower phase in zsu and kind of like planet zoo in general but we should be getting news relatively soon so i'm very excited to see that with all of you guys but all that being said thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days Bye bye now <laughs>